In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three hacks, including one original hack for one of my all-time favorite fishing lures, the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. If you guys have watched any of my recent fishing videos, you'll see that I've been leaning heavily on the Dark Sleeper for its amazing ability to catch a variety of species, especially here in Michigan. We're gonna get right into the hacks, but before we do, if you guys do enjoy the video today or learn something of value here, I'd appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Now let's get to hacking. Now, if you have fished with the Dark Sleeper for any amount of time, then you probably have some that look like this, missing eyeballs. I got a lot of blind Dark Sleepers. If I have one critique, one fault that I've found with the Dark Sleepers is that they lose their eyeballs very, very easily. But I'm gonna show you guys something that you can do to the Dark Sleepers right out of the package to prevent them from losing those eyeballs. All you're gonna need is a clear epoxy resin or a clear polyurethane coating, and I'll leave links in the description to both of those. The product I'm using today is Envirotex Light. This one is really tough, it's fast drying, and it's very clear. I like this one a lot but some of them you don't have to mix together at all. It'll come pre-mixed, but essentially what we're gonna do is mix this together in this clear plastic cup in equal parts, so a one-to-one -one ratio. Then we're just gonna use a wooden stick. A popsicle stick would probably be better than this one, but we're just gonna mix that up. And once I have my mixture here, what I'm gonna do is use a Q-tip or a small brush, and I'm basically going to apply this resin over the eyeballs, over the nose, and over the bottom, the chin, of the Dark Sleeper. Basically, these are the areas that are gonna be contacting that cover those stumps and rocks more than any other part of the bait, and we just wanna apply a nice protective coating of that resin to all of those areas, especially the eyes, which have a strong tendency to pop off. Now that we've applied our resin coating all around the head and eyes of that Dark Sleeper, it's gonna be a lot less likely to lose those eyes on contact with the bottom and when the fish bite it. And now I'm just gonna hang this up to dry. And in 72 short hours, that resin will have cured, forming a clear, hard, protective layer all around the eyes and head of that dark sleeper. And now what about the dark sleepers you have laying around in your tackle box that already don't have their eyes? Well, it's not too late for them. You can give them sight again. I purchased a pack of replacement eyes that come in three, four, five, and six millimeter, and that pack will cover all of the different sizes of the dark sleeper. The size that works best for the larger size dark sleepers is the five millimeter. When I'm choosing a color of eye, I generally like to choose one that contrasts well with the bait that I'm using, but you can color match as well. It really depends on your preference. Now, in order to attach the eyes, we're gonna need some super glue, and I like the Gorilla brand Micro Precise Applicator. This particular bottle is really good for applying small precise amounts of super glue. All you need to do is apply a tiny amount right in the center of that eye spot just like that and then we are going to apply our replacement eye right there in that spot and press it down firmly and then repeat the same process on the opposite side. And now that we have our new eyes in place, I'm going to apply that same clear resin or clear polyurethane coating over the new eyes and the head of the dark sleeper just to add that durability. Now our second hack here is not something that is complicated or revolutionary, but one thing that I've discovered is that this fin hook guard is actually good for more than just keeping this thing weedless. If you peel it back, there's actually a perfect area inside here along the back where you can add some attractant, in particular, the Procure Super Gel. Now the Salmon Slammer Center flavor here is not really important. You can use whatever Super Gel is specifically formulated for targeting whatever species you're going after, but with this fin guard peeled back, you can apply the Super Gel directly all the way along the back there, and that fin guard is gonna keep that on basically all day through hundreds of casts. Now Procure Super Gel is really sticky and it's already good at staying on your bait, but with that fin guard protecting that line of Super Gel, it's basically gonna stay on there all day. And now we're on to our third hack, and this is one that I'm more proud of because I came up with it on my own, but essentially what we're gonna be doing is adding some noise to the Dark Sleeper. And we're gonna be doing this with a small three millimeter glass rattle. And with the three millimeter glass rattle, you can perform this on the smaller and the larger sizes of the Dark Sleeper. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna find where that weight in the head of the Dark Sleeper ends 
and it usually ends right here at the base of the head. And now we're gonna take the pointed end of our three millimeter glass rattle insert and we're gonna place that at the bottom right where that weight ends. And just with the force of our hands, we're going to press this rattle in to the dark sleeper horizontally at about a 10 degree angle right there into the plastic. And despite the dark sleepers being made out of pretty durable plastic, it is quite easy to get that rattle inside, but we're just gonna ease it on in making sure we keep that straight, going in horizontally, and we're gonna do that all the way until that rattle disappears. And now with that rattle inserted, every time you jig this thing off the bottom, it's just gonna have that faint click, and I assure you, the fish can hear it and it drives them insane. This is my number one hack for getting bit on the dark sleeper, even more than you already do. And now when I shake it, you can hear that faint rattle sound inside that dark sleeper. The dark sleeper is an incredibly effective lure for a variety of species. And with these three hacks, you can make it last longer and perform even better. If you've watched any of my fishing videos recently, you'll see that I've been leaning on the dark sleeper heavily to produce that multi-species bite. And if you wanna see the dark sleeper in action, I'll leave links to a couple of those fishing videos at the end of this one. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.